Uh, there's nothing quite like the smell of a rose, especially these ones that smell like fruity candies. I love them. Um, look at how many buds there are. One, two, three, four, five. There's like 12 buds on this plant right now. But there's actually something that you can do to encourage even more buds. The best roses, the roses that are re-blooming, that bloom for periods of like months at a time, they do need a little bit of help. And there's one real key thing that you need to do to your roses in order to get the most love out of them, to get the most life out of them, and to get the most beautiful, colorful flowers. Okay, first of all, we can see, look at this. This bud is starting to take on this beautiful, rich, corally color. And then as soon as it opens, it will start to look like this. You can see the colors are rich, they're non-faded, but after, I don't know, a week or so, they may start to look like this. You can see the, the difference in the color is, is quite, uh, you know, quite remarkable. They start to lose their color, and then the next stage is that this will go to this. What's the stage after this? something that we call rose hips. And rose hips are amazing. They, you know, it's great in the fall time, but in the middle of summertime, you don't want to let your roses go to hips because it's kind of like a signal to your plant that they're done blooming, but you don't want them to be done blooming. So what do you do? You take your scissors and you cut them off. Now you take your shears, trace down. You could, you could cut it here, but that's, you then kind of have this little stem thing right there. So what I like to do, I like to, to find the very next leaf node and I'll cut right here. As soon as you do that, you're no longer, you're telling the plant, all right, not time to go to rest yet. We're gonna continue to press out new flowers. Now, when a flower starts to look like this, let's, sh let's give it a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, it's still pretty good. I would give this a couple more days, and after a few more days, I take my scissors, and I cut right there again. Simply by doing that, cleaning your plant, keeping it looking healthy and clean, you will encourage the most buds, the most flowers, the most joy, the most fragrance, the most color. That's what we love. That's what we do. You know, we give our plants a little love and they love us right back. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Anyways, I'm Devin Walleen with Roberta's and